to welcome the Honourable David Clark to say a few brief words. Well, thank you very much, and it's a great honour to be here as Parliamentary Secretary for Justice in the Government of uh, New South Wales and representing Barry Athel, the Premier of the State of New South Wales, at this annual Pontian Greek genocide commemoration uh, organised by the United Pontian Benevolent Brotherhood uh, Association of New South Wales. And we have here representatives of the Armenian community because when the genocide was committed against the Pontian Greeks in those, that period of 1913 to 1923 in Turkey, uh, they were murdered as well. And we have representatives of the Assyrian community because they are among the victims of the genocide that took place there. We have representatives of the Jewish community because in a few short years after what happened uh, in, in uh, that part of Turkey, uh, they suffered themselves in that m massive holocaust that took place. Uh, and there are many others here uh, today who are, who are not Armenian or Pontian Greek or Assyrian, uh, from many different backgrounds, but we're all here united because we, we are opposed uh, and we will resist as strongly as we can genocide, no matter who commits it and no matter who it's committed against, no matter when and no matter where. In that, we are all united as one here uh, today in this Parliament of New South Wales. And, the, and history is very, very clear that there was this massive genocide against the Assyrians and the Armenians, and it was very clear that there was a massive genocide against the Pontian Greeks as well. History is very clear, and truth is very clear, and the facts are very clear. For 3,000 years, there was a thriving Greek community in that area known as Pontius uh, in present-day Turkey. And there was a great kingdom uh, in the 4th century BC under, under King Mithridates. After the visit of St Andrew in AD 35, that Greek civilization became a Greek Christian civilization. It's a civilization that thrived and prospered and grew. It was an Hellenic civilization. It was a Christian civilization that shines with a special luster in the history books today. Then in the 15th century, something, something happened. This area was conquered by the Ottoman Turks. And there followed many, many, a number of centuries of discrimination and religious cleansing and persecution, forced conversions, but at least, at least that was a community that more or less survived. Then we came to the 20th century and things changed dramatically. Things got a lot, lot worse. And it can be summed up as to what happened by a letter sent in 1909 by the German ambassador in Turkey uh, to the German chancellor. And this is what he said. He said, the Turks have decided upon a war of extermination against their Christian subjects. By that he meant the Assyrians and the Armenians and the Pontian Greeks all together. And that got underway in 1913 and it, it, it reached its full force uh, in 1923. And the houses of these people were burnt to the ground and they were herded into concentration camps. They had their churches desecrated. They were killed through starvation and, and, mass, and, and, and forced, uh, forced marches. They were killed by being burnt alive in their churches. They were killed in a campaign of premeditated murder, which was executed to its fullest and in that, in that genocide, one and a half million Armenians died, two-thirds of all us uh, Assyrians died, and between 400,000 and 600,000 Pontian Greeks, they died in, that mass in those massacres as well. And in this very parliament, up in the parliamentary garden, we have a monument to the Armenian uh, people commemorating that uh, genocide of the Armenians. And in this parliament, we've had uh, uh, commemorations by the Assyrian community in this very theatrette. And today, in this parliament, the parliament of the people of New South Wales, this oldest parliament in Australia, this oldest parliament in the Southern Hemisphere, today is the very first time that in this parliament we commemorate the genocide of the Pontian Greeks as well. And, to, and tonight I applaud I applaud the United Pontian Brotherhood for what they have done by instituting this, and long may it continue, here in the Parliament of the people of New South Wales. Is this not, dear friends, an historic event? Is this not a wonderful occasion? 
Is this not a testament to justice and humanity and to the memory of those hundreds of thousands of Pontian Greek men, women and children who were murdered uh, by the state of Turkey uh, in those years, uh, nearly 90 years ago, 100 years ago? But above all, friends, what we're doing tonight is a testament to truth. It's a testament that the truth is not going to be subverted and twisted. It's a, tr it's a testament to the fact that we're not going to allow the rewriting of history or the denial of history. And to the revisionists out there, we say this. Admit to the truth of what's happened. The whole world knows what happened. And to do that would be a noble thing, a good thing, a moral thing, and a decent thing. Let just justice be done. Let the memory of those victims rest in peace. And for sure, one thing is for sure, that the parliamentarians in this place from whether they're from the government or they're from the opposition or whether they're from the crossbench and they're all represented here tonight, uh, we are, are always going to be here to welcome you uh, and, 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 for your, and to support the commemoration that you want to have on this day. We want you to be here. When you ask us to come, we will come. When you ask us to speak, we will speak and nothing can stop us and nothing will stop us. All over the world, people and nations are starting to speak up and testifying to the truth. And today in this parliament, we are going to speak up and testify to the truth as well. Thank you very much.